Let's continue to talk about the scope of variables. The scope of a variable is when you can see it, when you can work with that particular variable, and how it's been defined and declared, affect and define, I should say, uh, the scope of the variable. A variable has scope within the function that defines it. So when we had main and we had integer i or something inside main, that integer, that variable called i, uh, was local to main. No other function could see it. Only main could work with it. And it had scope until the closing brace of main. We saw just a little bit ago external variables. The external variables are the ones that were declared outside of any function. An external variable has scope until the end of the file that it is defined in, because the externs are outside any function, so the function braces don't matter to, to externs, only the file that they're defined in. And remember, we had to do an extern keyword if we wanted an extern that was defined in one file to be declared and used in another source file. There's a big difference there between definition or defining and declaring a variable. Defining it actually sets aside memory and storage. Declaring it just says, go find this thing. It's not created right here, but when you deal with it, it's an integer or it's, an, it's a float or whatever characteristics and type that the variable has. So we know how to deal with it. Then we'd let the linker figure out where the thing really is in memory. If you happen inside a function to create variables of the same name, shame on you, first of all. You shouldn't do that because it's very confusing. But if you do, the variables of the same name will win. The closest ones to you will win. So let's take a look here at what I mean by that. It's easier to, to see it in, in the code. Here's a, a quick little stub of main. And here we have an integer i. It's set equal to 0. And we test it. If i is equal to 0, it is. That's true. We're going to come in here. And now we can make a new integer i because we're inside a new code block. This is a almost like a function definition inside here, but it doesn't have any name. So we can create a new local automatic variable here, i, set it equal to something, and do whatever we want to with it. But when we do that, that will not affect this i. This is a new definition of i. Uh, it just happens to use the same name. Now, somewhere down here below the screen, there's a close brace for this if block, and that's where i's scope ends. This i will go away at the closing brace of this if and it will no longer be in scope, and it will no longer exist in memory. Any value that it, that it had is lost. Okay, so this i is not, is not this one. This is a brand new i down here. And that is uh, one of the trickier things to know about scope, is you can do this, and scope only lasts within these braces. The scope of this i will only last until the ending closing brace of main, down here someplace. And if we created another variable up here, an external, that variable outside of any other function, that external, would only last for the length of this source file. It would only last for any of the uh, functions that were def defined in this. So that's talking about scope and the scope of a variable and how long a variable exists and how long it keeps its value. Okay, so that's scope.